people wanted to know, uh, you know how I was keeping this greenhouse cool and stuff like that. Um, I've actually got uh, two of these fans. Uh, these are large 36 inch fans. Uh, they're made by a company called Cool Air out of Jacksonville. Um, really a nice fan. Uh, these motors on them are actually uh, one horse motors too. But uh, I've got two of them. I just got the one running right now. This one's off. Uh, right now, but they have shutters on the outside and whatnot. Um, and then they're thermostatically controlled. I, I've got uh, up here, each one has uh, its own thermostat. Uh, these are made by Johnson Controls. Seem to work pretty well. I've got it cranked up um, at 70 just so it would come on. But I mean, normally, like, I'll keep one. Uh, I don't know, I got it set at like 82 and then the other one at like 86 or something like that. Um, and then the back of the greenhouse is where we have uh, our wet wall. Um, and this is this is called evaporative cooling. So um, how it works is, uh, you know, the water trickles down. Well, let me go ahead and... I'll turn it on so you can kind of see it. I mean, right now it's 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 all it's all dry, but uh, and this is where the water comes. But again, you know, I have a thermostat up here too to turn this one on. Let me just crank it so it kicks on. Okay, so now it's uh, pumping. There's a pump down in that uh, tank down there, and then uh, what happens is the water uh, comes out. Here you can kind of see it here. There you go. Okay, so it flows into that uh, aluminum there. And then let me back up so you can see the wall starting to get wet. Okay. So as the water runs down through this uh, material, and it's like a cardboard material, but then it flows into this trough that's down here. And this is just a pipe that I had to cut and modify these parts. I mean, it, it came as a kit, you know, I had to build it, but uh, all that water then, you know, flows down to the end uh, in this sump tank. Let me show you here. Let's see if we can see. <coughs> all right. I'm trying not to drop my phone. All right. Eh, it's hard to see, but there's a float in there that controls the water level coming in and way down the bottom there's a there's a pump a little uh, uh i think it's what a third horse pump or something like that so anyway the process is uh this water running down this this pad um creates this cooling effect because when the fans kick on on the other side of the greenhouse um all that uh that cooling effect is, is pulled through because it's it's pulling the air out of the greenhouse. So the way that this is designed is actually um, when both fans are running, it'll do uh, uh, one full air exchange per minute. So um, it it works pretty well. Um, you know, I've done some testing on it. You know, like when I first put it up, I mean, it was like 85 degrees out. Um, came inside the greenhouse, it was like uh, 110 inside here because I had nothing running. Um, then, uh, you know, went and kicked everything on, and I mean, within like 15 minutes, I had dropped the temperature in here to like 75 degrees. So, um, it works. I mean, it works, uh, and I don't know, we'll see how it does throughout the summer and whatnot. Uh, um, I mean, I know this method works a lot better in a drier climate, um, uh, but, you know, I'm here in Florida, so, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to try it and just see how it worked and, you know, try to, I guess, get a longer growing season. Um, so, we'll see how, see how it all works out. Stay tuned. Bye.